Welcome to the 14th Arabian Hotel Investment Conference. Ras Al Khaimah is truly honored to have you here. Every year, every month, every day, our job is very simple. To look at every measure that we could have taken to attract more investment, more business, to make our place a better place. So let's take this opportunity to network, do business, and look forward with confidence, safe in the knowledge that this industry in the Middle East is only just getting started. Feel free to be a tourist here yourself. Let's imagine I'm your therapist and I lie you on my couch and I say to you all, Gentlemen, I can feel you've got problems. I can feel there's pain in your life, and I suspect it's something to do with the way the hotel's business is working today. And I suspect you feel it's not fair. Tell me why it's not fair. Right now, do you think you're being ripped off? Owners and operators should be equally prepared to assume the responsibilities. It is not one side or the other. The hotel industry have to change. They only know how to do this thing. Make up the bed, make sure the towels are clean, answer the phone sometimes. That's dying. <laughs> because how somebody is motivated is how they behave for themselves and therefore for their company or their expedition group. You know, hotels have been, become very attractive as an asset class to investors and they've made an awful lot of money out of hotels which are very cash generative. And in the good times, they've made super normal profits. It's true that on the US market, 80% of the property is a network which is franchise. Here in Middle East, we are mainly on the management agreement. You wake up one day and you realize you're in big trouble. And either you didn't see that change coming or you saw the change coming and you didn't do enough about it. What's really interesting, I think, about Saudi is the transformation that I'm sure we've been talking about today and been talking about for the past year. The most important story happening in the region. There isn't many places around the world today where you have prices of land like you do here in Ras Al Khaimah that is beachfront, which allows you to open four-star hotels that could perform at a great ROI. I like Ras Al Khaimah because it's a promising place. I like the ruler, and for me to be here uh, in such an event, in a promising place, meant a lot more than, let's say, if you were doing it in London. We're coming here with a message. We've been active globally, but we have a certain voice and a message, and I think that there's really an, a willingness to hear that and, and to try and learn new things. And because the region is developing in very exciting ways, that's reflected in this conference, and you can feel that energy. This is an opportunity to sit down face to face in one place with all of our major stakeholders, our associates, our owners, and indeed investors in this, in this industry, which is the lifeblood for our growth. AHIC's taken things on another level. The people that we've met here have been absolutely phenomenal. The owners of businesses, the owners of assets, the people here to come and do deals has been second to none.